Hi friends and welcome to another fun video. Today I will take a closer look at how to delete a parameter that contains a lot of text, which to be honest is a pain in the to delete manually. We have here the hovering title block created in our last video. First we tried to delete it, the parameter, the text in the parameter. Not an easy task for sure when the parameter contains such a large amount of words. Second, I tried to copy and paste a new text and it just made everything a really mess. So we need our superhero, Dynamo, to come and save us. So open it up and find the node, select model elements. This is for selecting the family or the title block. Change the script to be run automatically to manually. Give us a bit more control. Next we need two string nodes. One of them will contain a hyphen, which will replace the text in the parameter. The second will contain the parameter name. And as a reminder, it is case sensitive, so be precise. The last node is element set parameter by name, which report back to Revit the parameter value, the hyphen I've typed in the string node. Before hitting run, let's go back a little bit and really understand this short script. So string node one that has the text note text is looking for a parameter with this name in the selected model element and it will be found as marked. String node two contain a hyphen, the value that will replace the existing value in the parameter note text. Select model element is the selection of one specific element or object in the Revit environment that these changes will occur. In our case is the title block. We hit run and we got an error. Of course, we need to select title block, hit run again and the text is deleted. Next up is to make the script fast and easier to use with Dynamo player. We save the script at our desktop with a nice name. When that is done, we go back to our legend and copy the text back into the text parameter so we can see if the Dynamo player actually does work. Okay, so we open up Dynamo player. I have added the desktop folder as a chosen location. So when searching for a Dynamo script, meaning every Dynamo script that is saved to the desktop folder will show in the list below. Sometimes the script is not showing any inputs. That can either be because none of the nodes have been made is input or it might just be a bug. And I do have a workaround for that bug. So we open the script and we have checked the node select model element is in fact an input. The workaround is to add a watch node and our input option should appear when we check it in our Dynamo player list. So let's press clean parameter and yes, the select model element does appear. We test it out by selecting it and clicking the title block and hit run. And our text has now been deleted. And that is the end of this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.